Today we have this device. It's a digital sound to analog sound converter. So as the name already is saying, it's a raw MDA1. And it's really trying to give you the possibility to get your audio in higher quality if it is digital. And this is also why the inputs are all digital, of course. So you have optical, you have the coax, but even Bluetooth LDX support is here. So you can put it out in two ways. You can put it out in RCA. That's also the way I will test it out for this video. But you also have the possibility to get balanced output from the XGL outputs. Sadly, I'm not able to do that yet, but maybe in the future I will do a video because I do maybe have a device soon here that supports this. And then I can see how that experience is for sure in that video. But I can already say with like the RCA output, the quality is pretty impressive with Bluetooth, for example. But also I tried it with USB-C input because it even has that possibility. And I did notice a few things. When you use the standard sound uh, color, or sound profile, depending how you like to call it, it's pretty well done. It's really a middle tone in trying to give you a higher quality experience, but also not giving you too much uh, like upscaling experience. I did notice if you use the other sound colors, you get a different kind of experience with minimal changes. If you use the tube, uh, let's just say sound colors, you get a bit more warm sound and a bit more uh, I would say a mumping bass. The bass is getting a bit more uh, in control. If you use the crystal like sounds, it is small changes, but I would not say it's big change for me. But you also have like the rich uh, sound. And the rich sounds, you have also three versions of that. It's really more like boosting your travel bit, getting more clarity. I do think that the tube sound colors are the best on this device. They give the best possibility in between three different versions, but also it really makes this digital sound sound analog. And this is where this device really is meant for. So it's a really cool device overall. And I do think that the display on the front, you have different possibility to check in the settings, but also with your pre-out and in-out, it has so much things to do on this device. So even though it is a converter, I almost even see it as a bit of a streaming device because you can use your phone with this, with your Bluetooth, but you can also really do different devices on this. And a tool like they include a remote, so you can also switch between devices, you can control the volume, you can also go into the menu to change settings. They really done it pretty well on this device. Yes, it is maybe not for everybody, so it is pretty limited still to this converting thing. So if you really want something that, for example, supports uh, internet radio or even like Spotify connect or anything, that's not happening with this. It's really a Bluetooth or optical or USB in or coax. It's not any other thing. And this does make this device pretty well focused for the group of audio people.